Okay, we are now going under the car to find the source of the problem as to uh, why the fuse cover rusted out. And here we're under the front parts. And back here, uh, we're under the frunk. And right here, you can see this hose. And that is where the condensate from the air conditioner comes out. And check it out, it basically comes right directly on top of the battery pack. And then the uh, over time the fuse cover rusts out. This car was originally in Arizona, so I'm going to assume that the air conditioner was running continuously uh, anytime the car was on, ever. So that's a lot of water going right onto the top of the battery pack. Now, I measured that, that's a three uh, quarters inch tube. So I went and I got some uh, three quarter inch interior diameter tube from the store and that should be able to fit right over it. Now this is like a radiator hose because that's what they had handy at the store in that size. But I don't see why this couldn't be like clear vinyl or something. Uh, because all it needs to do is just move some water away. But this stuff is durable. It'll last forever. Um, and if we look way up in here sideways, that hose, it's actually coming horizontal through the firewall. And then it just flexes bending down behind the uh, frunk plastic here. So there's a little zip, kind of a zip tie. I'll cut that and we should be able to move that a little easier. And I'm just gonna take my hose, slide it right over. That feels like a pretty good snug fit, but I'm gonna take my little stainless steel hose clamp here and just snug it on. Okay, just gave that a little squeeze so that's not coming off. And that's my hose clamp. Condensate hose goes up here. And now what I'm going to do is just take the other end of the hose. Da, 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 da. So we've got these plastic underbody panels. So Rob, you went over over this this big yeah, cross yeah, member, right? Kind of up went, over here, like through there, and then basically out right by the wheel there. well. Zip tie through. Yep. If you can get your camera up in there with the light, you can kind of see a good clear path through. That doesn't rest it on top of something super hot or cold or whatever. Yep. Yep. So that's just, it'll just rest on the, just aluminum. Up in here and away from. Uh, away from the steering. So got the other end of the hose here. Yeah, so if the frunk is out, the hose is right there and yeah. should be able to go right over the top of the battery. So now we got a hose hanging down here. It's too long, but the rule of hose is buy more than you need. Uh, over by the drill press. 
So further back anywhere, you didn't support the hose though, right? No, I, I didn't. I mean, you certainly could if you want to. But I mean, I'm not hose, seeing so. any decent attachment point jumping out at me anyways. So I think the main thing here is just that the hose is away from the steering. That's about it. sized zip tie. How much uh, hose did you leave hanging down? Uh, I left like maybe an inch, you know, I wanted enough. I didn't want it hanging down enough to where people say, hey, there's something hanging under your car or it getting like full of snow and slush on it. Right. And then like sealing up and then uh -huh. like, you know, your defroster in winter runs and freezes there. So, you know, you cut it however long you want and then shorten it later because you can probably get to that without the car up, but it serves a lot easier doing it when you have the car a foot off the ground, you know. Now, if a person just had some clear radiator or clear PVC hose or vinyl tubing, yeah, that would work fine for this too, wouldn't it? This, but, you, know, you don't really need to see stuff coming out. No. Really I was just thinking there's no reason for like a high temperature hose or it, like it doesn't have to be a special hose. It's just water. So now we got a hose extension that's coming down this way, over that, out here, and it's just gonna it's gonna drip onto the road, and then kind of long middle piece of all of this, um, that's basically just gonna like lay on top of the battery. Not really any good places over here for more zip ties, anyways. I... Okay, well, looks like that's it. Fix the uh, air conditioning output. Now, don't worry, we'll show you everything that went into cleaning up, resealing, and reinstalling the battery pack. But I want to jump ahead to the battery pack being back in the car so we can apply power to the air conditioning. Here's what it looked like the first time cranking the AC. That's how fast the condensate from the AC comes out. Wow. And if the water is not going into a bucket, it's just going onto my concrete floor, which is slanted the outside. Look at this water rolling out. It is a ton of water, and I'm so glad it's no longer going right on top of the battery pack. I hope you enjoy these videos. Please like, comment, and subscribe to make sure that you get to see the next video in this series. We've still got a lot more videos coming about fixing up this 2013 Tesla Model S. Until then, stay charged up.